Uh, greetings, everyone. We are recording this video in the city of Kings and Queens in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Uh, for those that have never been to Zimbabwe, Bulawayo is the second largest city in Zimbabwe. Uh, we will not talk about it uh, in this video. We'll do it some other time. But uh, we want to respond to two questions that were posted uh, here. Uh, the first question pertains to a worker who is on a Zimbabwe exemption permit who was injured and uh, is currently receiving a medical pension, took medical pension and has still been paid uh, by the Department of Labor. So the question that uh, the comrade then asked is what permit or what visa should they apply for because they are currently not working uh, they were injured at work so what should they apply for uh, there are two visas that uh, are there that one can apply for firstly there is a medical visa a medical visa though requires that uh, you apply on the basis that uh, you are receiving medical attention in south africa um, uh, you might not qualify on this one, but you can check the requirements in the internet on what is needed for a medical visa. But there is also a retirement visa, uh, which I think uh, the site worker can qualify under and apply for. Uh, though the, the retirement visa says uh, you need to prove that uh, at least you earn in terms of your pension, something like 37,000 rands a month, uh, uh, which uh, maybe the worker does not receive that kind of money. Again, you need to visit the requirements in the retirement visa and see uh, in terms of the monies that they require you to have. It is this, though, that you need to firstly apply for a waiver so that uh, uh, if I'm correct in that, you need to be paid 37,000 rands, but in your current situation, the Labor Department for your medical pension doesn't pay you that much. You need then to apply for a waiver to waiver that requirement. Let's assume you have been paid 5,000 rands as an example. Uh, you write a motivation letter or in your waiver application, you, you write that uh, this is what you get from the labor department. You attach the slip as proof of what you are receiving and, and uh, then ask them to waiver uh, the 37,000 so that you, uh, they, are, they give you a, a retirement visa so that you retire in South Africa because uh, you are on, on a, a, a medical pension as, as, as the question states then I think they can give you a, a retirement visa. So check those two, the retirement visa in terms of the requirements and the medical visa. But I think the medical visa is a bit problematic because uh, uh, you must be undergoing treatment. So I think uh, the comrade, I think it's Gauge, uh, the comrade who asked him, uh, you are better off with a retirement visa. And then the second question that we have to deal with pertains to uh, children who were on Z start ZEP. Remember that the Zimbabwe exemption permit was in three categories, work, uh, study, and a business. So you have kids, uh, children that were on study visa, uh, uh, but they, they are done with their studies, they need to uh, move to other visas. So again, you apply for a waiver and they indicate that the child was on a study uh, visa uh, so that they then now apply for a work visa under mainstream visas. But if the child is on a, on a ZEP study visa, <coughs> they are still studying. There are challenges there. Firstly, I have seen that uh, when, when uh, uh, they apply for a study visa, uh, they will say the parents must first renew their own visa uh, for the kids to be issued with, with the visa. So if the child is still studying, it becomes a bit difficult unless the parents re renew their own visas. That is to say, to apply for a mainstream visa, then the kids can apply under them. But if the child was issued with a study visa uh, when they were still schooling, but they are now adults who are uh, taking up employment. 
they do not need, in my view, which we need to verify, they do not need to uh, go back to Zimbabwe to apply for the visa from Zimbabwe. They simply write, uh, apply for a waiver, uh, 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 and they indicate that they were on a study visa, now they are employed, and then they apply for a, 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 a work visa. Uh, I hope I've assisted the comrades that asked these two questions. I know that uh, because uh, I'm in Bulawa, I'm traveling, and the network is a bit problematic, I might have missed uh, some questions, but uh, we will certainly, uh, when we get the chance, try to answer all the questions that were asked. Otherwise, keep well. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel, circulate this video, like it. If you're on TikTok, please follow us. Uh, otherwise, have a great day. Goodbye.